Hoje o Indo Connection tá russo. Onde é que tá russo no, no lado ruim do russo? Eu tô aqui com Jim Craig, <risos> meu amigo de longa data, que é o melhor surfista russo da história. Esse cara aqui. How are you, Jim? Pretty good. Vou ter que falar em português ou em, é, é, eu, ou em inglês? Você fala o que você quiser. Russo eu não vou entender. Bom. Indoeresiano eu ainda dou a minha, a minha ajeitada. <risos> inglês eu de chavo. E okay. português, né? Vamos tentar. Eu, o Jim, cara, é um russo que fala uh, português porque ele tem uma admiração que é a nossa preferência nacional, que são as mulheres brasileiras. Well o said. cara é fissurado em well said. <laughs> Jean, let's start for, from uh, 22 years ago, when we met each other here in Bali. Huh? Bali was totally different, huh? Fantastic times. Um, it was a magical island. The magic still remains, but you have to look for it harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the progress came with everything, and people uh, 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 are developing the island so fast. Yeah, you can't recognize it anymore. Bom, gente, o Jim, o Jim é um um verdadeiro waterman. Ele é o, o, um cara que surfa, faz stand-up surf, mergulha e, além de tudo isso, é um tremendo artista. Ele compõe músicas eletrônicas, ele pinta, como vocês podem ver aqui, quadros. Esse aqui é, 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 é um tanto quanto narcisista, mas é, é bem bonito. Eu gostei muito desse, desse quadro. E, uh, Jim... What uh, when you started your 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 artistic feeling to put out on screens like you are doing? My art um, <laughs> career started as an infant. Uh, my father worked at one of the best museums as an art editor in Russia when I was a child, and so I was exposed to art from infancy. My parents always uh, supported and. Uh, encouraged me to pursue art. And my artistic expression took uh, many forms. At one point I was uh, uh, doing clothing. Uh, the company was called Sun and Moon. It was a company I developed here. Mm -hmm. And that was a form of my artistic expression. I was doing the designs, the prints, and uh, essentially supporting myself on my uh, Indo experience. <laughs> That's when we met. Uh -huh. After that, it took uh, a direction towards video. And my video always had something to do with surfing and the culture, but I tried to present it in a more artistic way. Mm -hmm. um, that evolved full circle back into art, into paintings, into uh, collages, and music. So now I'm full power doing this <laughs> and I keep looking at uh, these two pieces these are my last ones but the color the f freedom of expression and uh, something mystical that there are no words for that is present the energy that's present in there that that's kind of the direction I'm going and that represents the space where I'm at What about the music? You 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 compose some 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 music as well. I, once I was at your place and you showed me some really nice stuff. The music is um, uh, it's it's the language of the heart, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> and when my heart's full of joy, I sit at the computer and compose really crazy stuff. I just did a couple of shows in Moscow, uh -huh. and it was really. A pleasure to see a lot of people going crazy and dancing when they put on my tracks. <laughs> the, 
that, that's that's really really grateful. And Jin, uh, let me ask you something. And uh, you, uh, I respect you as a real waterman. I've been, I had some of amazing surf sessions together with you here at at Indo, and uh, uh, and now we see our our lineup full of. Serbians and Norwegians, <laughs> <laughs> Swedish people, and all sort of people. How, how is that? It's a strange world, and I'm a happy guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's it, it's strange, but um, uh, 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 the, the way things goes, uh, surf became so popular in the world. Huh? Now they are they are they are developing those artificial reefs. Have you heard about them? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I was in India in December at a place called Kovalam in South India. They're building a reef there. But I'm going to go back to uh, your question about seeing so many international surfers from strange places like Switzerland and Russians. <laughs> Finland. <laughs> <Russian>. <laughs> a lot of Russians here <laughs> surfing. And the reality is it's a very positive thing. I mean, the crowd sucks. Yeah. But the positive thing is uh, people are getting that freedom, that sense of freedom that I first felt when I just saw the ocean for my first time. And uh, I got goosebumps when I remember that, and I still think about it. That freedom is something that will, uh, if anything, will save this planet. That's... Got but getting uh, yeah, getting in touch with with nature through water through yeah. through the surf. You're right. You're right. So it's a good thing. Let them surf. What about Brazil, Jim? You are a Brazilian lover. <laughs> you love Brazilian people. You're always hanging out with Brazilian people, very good friends of Brazilian people. I lived with you on the year 2000, okay, already 10 years ago, looks like it was yesterday. And uh, Brazilian people has a special place in your heart, isn't it? I love <laughs> Brazilian people. I love Brazil. Uh, I'm very grateful that every time I come, I, I have so many friends there. The way the whole thing started was when I first come to Bali in 85, I went to G-Land on my third day. And back then, G-Land had only one camp. It was made out of bamboo, and there was just a handful of people there. And when we came to dinner the first night, one table was full of Brazilians. And it was Chico, Pepe, Afrano, and a couple other guys. And they were making so much ruckus and so much you know, having so much fun and loud and had the best vibe. So I knew I got to get to know these guys because <laughs> <laughs> that's my style as well. Uh -huh. And uh, that's how it started. And I, we became friends. I learned the language. And not to mention the women. <laughs> that was a big draw. <laughs> You've been married with a, with a Brazilian girl, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic time. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Jim, I brought something for you. Here, T-shirt from our show. I hope yeah. you like it. I love it. The Indo, the Indo Connection T-shirt, okay? And it was very pleasant for me to have you in, uh, in my show. Right on, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, man. We've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks cool. for having, bro.